Get off the right wheel. Who's ready to go to work in here? We needed this national, didn't we? I'm so charged up. I'm like, yeah, it's time to go back to work. It's time to roll up these sleeves again. Lisa, you got it in you one more time. Who's got it in them one more time? So here's what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about how to build an ML empire, MLM empire again. Now, for those of you, this is your first national or maybe your second national and you're still building it for the first time, well, I'm going to tell you what I did the first time. And for those of us that are getting ready to build it again, I'm going to tell you what we need to do when we leave out of here, because it's great when we come to this national. We feel so fired up. We feel so inspired. But it's what counts is when we get back to our respective cities, when all the energy isn't there, when all the life distractions start happening, when all the reps start giving you complaints about why this is not working, when all the phone calls start coming, is how do you stay feeling like we feel right now? So here's how it's going to happen. First of all, the thing you have to realize is that a journey of a thousand miles just begins by taking the first step. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. But yard by yard, it looks really hard. So we're just going to take one step at a time. Every day, we're going to focus on having forward progress. So when you start off right now, I started thinking, can I do this again? See, a lot of us, I think, have kind of been in a flat mode because we really had to wrap our heads around doing it again. It's a lot of sacrifice to get out here and build this thing. And so we had to wrap our heads around, could we do it again? I'm asking you guys, can you do it again? Yes. Is it going to work? Yes. Can I become the faces of five links, the next wave of MLM millionaires. Can you do it? Yeah. Are they telling the truth? See, all these thoughts are going through our head. But what we have to do is we have to get out of our head and just know, yes, it's possible. Those of you that are just getting started, yes, you can live in your dream house. Yes, you can drive your dream car. Yes, you can make six figures a month. It's all possible because there are people sitting on this front row that have already done it. And if they can do it, guess what? You can do it too. So next, this is something I learned that's so important. You got to figure out what is your why. You did it when you signed into the business, and those of us that are getting ready to rebuild it again, we got to figure out our why again. The first time I did it, it was because I just wanted to get out of that job. I wanted to be a full time mom. I wanted to dream again. I wanted to pay off some credit card debt. That was my why the first time. I wanted to be able to leave a legacy for my kids. And I did that. So then I had to ask myself, so what's your why now? Because if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not strong enough. It's got to be bigger than the money. Because if it's only about the money, hear me carefully, if it's only about the money, when somebody puts more money in your face, you're gone. It can't just be about the money. And so when I started wrapping my head around doing this again and getting back in the trenches, I said, why are you here, Lisa? I'm just going to be honest. Is that okay? Because I don't have to be here. I had to ask myself, why? And you want to know why? 
You want to know why I came up with what my reason was? You want to know what, will ma what makes me cry? You guys. You guys, it blows my mind how we had so many leaders that were here, that were up on the stage, inspiring people, knowing that everybody was looking at us. They were living vicariously through us. And they just walked away. We're not quitters. There's not a bone in my body that quits. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. And so I said, well, I, I, there's a lot of people looking at us, looking at me. I don't want to disappoint anybody. That's a lot to carry. I don't want anybody in here to ever think that MLM doesn't work because it works. This company got me off of a job in two years. This company has changed my life. This company is the reason I have a clothing line. This company is the reason I'm on TV. This company is the reason I can do philanthropy around the world. Five links. For those of you who might be Facebook Live, all the haters out there, Five Links is the reason why we live the life of our dreams, if you ever forgot it. Don't call me. Don't throw money. Don't throw partnership. I'm not going anywhere until we get everything we came to Five Links to get, and you guys get everything you came to Five Links to get. That's what leadership is. So then I said, you know what? I got another why now. My brother Tupac, this was his why when he first got started. He put it on the back of his BMW. It said, told ya. I got a lot of people who left that I can't wait to say, told ya. There's going to be many chapters in your life that come. Exciting chapters, disappointing chapters, loving chapters. Don't get lost in the one you're in right now. Because life is cyclical. There are going to be highs, there are going to be lows. But the thing you got to know about running in cycles is everything that comes up, must come down, and everything that comes down must come up. That's the cycle of life. And sometimes on the way to your dream, you get lost, you get sidetracked, but you find your way to a better one. I think we are in a better position than we've ever been in before. I can honestly tell you, I believe in Nelson. I believe in his ability to run a strong company. I respect a person who doesn't tell you what you want to hear, but they tell you what you need to hear. No fluff. You might not like his candidness, but I would rather you tell me the truth than lie in my face. So for that, Nelson and for Shad, thank you. And at the end of this journey, at the end of this storm, what we're going to do is we're going to kill them with success, and then we're going to bury them with a smile. So when you guys leave here, this is what you got to do. We've made it through the difficult days. There are, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So now it's time to go back to what we did in the beginning. It's time to go back to putting our dream boards up on the wall. Do another one. It's time to think about what the next three to five years is going to look like. 
I want you guys to repeat after me. I am capable. I am, capable. I am strong. I am strong. If, I if I believe in myself, I can turn my dreams into a plan. Say it. <laughs> and my plan into a reality. See, my eyes are getting bad right now. <laughs> I had to turn around and look at the back, right. But it's true, we can do this. So the first thing that we gotta do right now is we gotta believe. All the doubt has to go out the window. We've, we've said it so many times, I think the leaders stopped hearing it when they said it. One ounce of doubt, you're out. So all the doubt has to go out the window this weekend. You got to believe with everything in you that we can do this and we can take this company to a billion dollars. Next, the biggest battlefield that you face or the biggest battle that you face is not the battle out there. It's not the people out there. It's guess what? It's the battle up here. So we got to start sharpening this. We got to start reading empowerment books, personal development books. We're our greatest asset. We got to go back to what we did in the beginning. We were sharpening ourselves. We were students. Sometimes when you start to have success, you feel like you've learned it all. No, we're still students right now. We're still personally developing. You got to find friends who are going to inspire your growth not the ones that are trying to tear it down, not the ones that are trying to plant seeds of doubt. You got to find people that are going to empower you. Iron sharpens iron. You got to ask yourself, who am I spending the most time with these days? You need to be spending time with people that are going to up-level you. A lot of times, and I'll be honest, a lot of times because everybody in this room is a positive person, you're, you're aggressive, you're outgoing. And a lot of times we surround ourselves with people and we're pouring into them. But the question becomes when you're doing all the pouring into, who's pouring into you? If no one's pouring into you, your tank is gonna run if empty. So you have to challenge yourself to get around people that are going to push you beyond your comfort zone. Because I can tell you this, beyond your comfort zone, just beyond your comfort zone, is the life of your dreams. You got to stretch. It's not going to be easy. And that fourth tip is one that people forgot about. And I need you to hear me carefully. It's not about an individual. Yes, we're all powerful. But what made the magic in Five Links, the reason why people can't leave, the pe reason why they want to stay, is the team. It's the team. We're nothing without our teams. And some people, because we do so much edifying in this industry, some people started drinking their own Kool-Aid. And they really thought that just because they left, everybody else was going to leave. No, no, it doesn't work that way. People didn't get in it for a person. We got to realize our responsibility is to pull the next one up. Can you do that? Can you look at your team and take ownership for their success? You got to feel a personal responsibility when you put somebody in the business to making sure they have success. That's what we got to do. So here's the plan. I want you to think about all the leaders you've heard this weekend, the ones that resonate with you the most. I want you to duplicate what they're doing. Leaders, they're looking at us. They're watching us. They're emulating us. We got to be the best representative in our team. We set the bar. The speed of the leader determines the pace of the group. So leaders, we got to step up our game too, because they're going to do whatever we do. And we got to commit to another three to five year run.
Notice I didn't say three to five months. What did I say? Three to five years. That's what a build is. And you got to make a decision right now, today, to get into grind mode, beast mode. Isn't that what E.T. used to say? Beast mode, right? And then you got to measure your progress, not monthly, weekly, even daily sometimes. So it starts with our list. When you leave here this weekend, make a good list from scratch because it's a rebuild, yes? Even if you got a list, go make another one. It's our working capital. Go for the reds. Don't be scared. I started thinking about what did I do when I first got in this business? I made my list. I got uncomfortable. I called a doctor that I thought was very successful, and that doctor led me to thousands of people. So the list is key. Now, how are we making our list these days? Yes, you can make it from people you know, but one of our greatest tools right now to recruit is social media. And I personally think we could all do a better job on a daily basis of posting something about our business. Whether it's a product that we're selling, whether it's a meeting that's happening in the area. Marshall, I loved your peak on social media. One of the things you gotta do, I think I heard Kurt say this, is you gotta just get out there and go meet people. It's so easy now. They got meetups for everything. Just go meet some new people. Stop trying to call the same people you've been calling for the last year that don't see an opportunity. <laughs> Ta-da, she dropped a dime. <laughs> Um, and then build yourself up as a direct sales expert. When I first got in this business, I was the only person in Maryland, right? And so I needed people to see me as an expert because I didn't have somebody there to edify me. A lot of you are in cities where you're the top person and there's really nobody to edify you. You want to know what I did? I took out an ad in a newspaper and they wrote a story. It was called an advertorial about me. Now, I didn't tell anybody this, but I paid for it. It's called an advertorial. But that third-party documentation was a tool that everybody started using and it edified me because if I stood up there and edified myself, I would sound like pompous and arrogant. But when third-party documentation is edifying you, it looks very different. Does this make sense to everybody? You got to build yourself as an expert because once they see you as an expert, they'll listen to you. You have credibility. Now, on social media, this is what I used to do. I would literally go on Facebook and I would look for anybody that had a green dot by their name. And if I hadn't talked to them in a while, I would just make small conversation with them. For those of you who are looking for people, we got to get our five. Who's going to get their five in the next 30 days? So we got to get our five. So anybody on social media, you need to go on social media and you need to just look for people that are online and just start having small talk conversation with them. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing? How's life treating you? When you start asking questions, the natural progression is for them to say, well, what's been going on with you? What have you been up to lately? Oh my gosh, I'm doing great. This year has been amazing. I started my own business, and we have an opportunity to make some incredible money with this new technology called IPTV. Analysts say it's the next shift in wealth. IPTV is sexy. It's something that people say, what? What's that? Are you open? All you got to do is ask them if they're open. Do you keep your options open? If they say yes, now you're going to take them to the next level. But you just got to talk to people. Some people are going to say no, but some people are going to say, well, what are you doing? Tupac did an amazing thing yesterday. He put something on social media. I think he put this one, rip off and duplicate, right? In this industry, it's all good to rip off and duplicate. Are you the type of person who has an entrepreneur spirit and keeps their business options open? Right from Marshall. I have a million-dollar project I'm working on. 
I'm looking for five people who are serious, business-minded individuals who want to make an extra five to 10K a month. If you're open to the possibility of taking it to the next level, type yes below. That was genius because normally you say inbox me, but it's so much easier for them just to type yes, and then once they type yes, you go have a private conversation with them offline. See, this is simple stuff that we can do. There's no reason why we can't all get our five. We got, to we got to prospect body to body. If we're at the bank, if we're at the hair salon, if we're at church, we got to talk to people. How many of you have tools? How many of you have gone to that store and picked up tools? You need to have something, whether it's a peak card, whether it's a brochure, you need to have something that you can put in somebody's hand when you talk to them about your business. Because here's a fact, out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. So put something in their hands so they'll remember you, and when you give them that tool, you get their information back in exchange, and you add it to your list. Keep a little pad on you so you can always have numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got to go back to the basics. We got to go back to the basics. We got to start recruiting. Once we pique their interest, we got to get them in the dens and living rooms. I really started thinking long and hard, how did we do it in Maryland? How did we get it going? We started in living rooms. If there's not a regular BOM happening in your area, it's okay, because believe it or not, the momentum comes from the PBRs. Get into the dens and living rooms. And once you get some traction, then we can take it to the BOMs. Honestly, right now, we're in a time that people don't even really want to go out to hotels and stuff. They like the convenience. How many of you have more success getting people to the PBRs than getting them out to the hotel meetings? I think it's a shift happening. They want to get on webinars. They want to do it casually. And it's a good thing for us, because them BOMs are expensive. <laughs> Make goals. Write this down. One of my mentors taught me this years ago, and I never forgot it. And anybody I've ever worked with, I've taught them this. What gets measured gets tended to, and what gets tended to gets done. These things right here are what you need to be measuring on a weekly basis. Your personal customer count. If you're not in the 25 customer club, you gotta get there. Gotta get to the 25, then the 50, then the 100. Your monthly exposures. You gotta keep up with how many people you're talking to. In a given month, if you wanna put three to five people in your business, how many people do you have to talk to? 50? How many people do you have to talk to? See, here's our problem. Nobody knows the answer. You got to talk to at least 100 people because direct sales industry average says that if you talk to 100 people, 30 are going to be interested. Of the 30 that are interested, a third of them really mean it. So of the 30, 10 really mean it. So of the 30 that you actually get interested, 10 will come out if you talk to 100. And of the 10 that come out, three will get started. Now, some of you might have better averages, but the average person in this room can put in three to five people talking to 100 people a month. How many of you are trying to get your five in the next 30 days? So you got to measure how many people you're talking to. You got to measure how many PBRs you're doing. You got to measure how many BOMs are happening that you're attending. You got to measure how many guests you have coming out. You got to measure how many new people you recruit, how many people you get qualified. I love our new qualification portal. Give it up for five links. How many people you get game planned? How many trainings? But here's the most important thing. How many ETs you break? The key to success is becoming an ET 
producing machine. Every week you gotta look at your business and you gotta say, who can I break to ET this week? They got one person, they got eight customers, let me help them get two more customers, let me go do a PBR with them. When you become an ET producing machine, you can't stop the momentum. How many of you can't wait to the day that you couldn't stop the money from loading on your pay card if you tried? Now listen, what I just shared with you is just fundamentals. But what I just shared with you 14 years ago took me from living in a two-bedroom condo where I was living paycheck to paycheck. Within a year, I was buying a five-bedroom luxury townhome. And within a year of that, I bought an 8,000-square-foot home. Just doing what I just shared with you, the fundamentals. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to get out of your own way? Are you ready to stop talking about it and be about it? I don't believe you. It don't sound like it to me. Let me ask you again. Are you ready to get out of your own way? Are you ready to stop talking about it and be about it? So watch this. But what I started thinking about when I was trying to figure out why am I here? What am I going to do this time differently? This time we're going to do it a little bit different. See, the first time I did it, I was focused on the things, the house, the car, the jewelry, the lifestyle. But the first time you learn a lot of lessons along the way. And this time, in five years, I want to be able to show you real estate portfolios. I want to take the money that I make in five links this time, and I want to teach people, and I want to be an example of how you take the money you make in network marketing, and you invest it so that you can build wealth, generational legacy wealth. No more hype. Let's stop all the hype. The problem in our community is that we consume far too much and we own nothing. Let's get smart this time. Let's invest. Let's get, let's learn. We got people in this company who know how to trade. Tupac, teach me how to day trade. Teach me how to take this money and put it in the market and let it grow. This time, this go round is for generational legacy wealth. So the plan when you leave out of here is get a PBR happening. Who, if you're willing to commit to doing a PBR when you get back, a personal PBR, stand up. Let me see who you are. Stand up in the next five to seven days if you're willing to personally have a PBR. Look around the room. Now I want you to find somebody in this room that's going to hold you accountable. Because a lot of times we set these goals, but nobody's there to hold us accountable. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. We're going to get this thing done. We're going to get this thing done this time. I want you all to invite at least 100 people. Do it right, confirm your guests, send out your digital invitations. You know how to do this. Let's get back in the dens and living rooms. And then watch this journey, listen to me carefully. ET, stand up. Where are my ETs in the house? Stand up. Let's give them a round of applause. Stay standing, let me talk to you. ET is a very important milestone. If you're an IMR and you're not an ET yet, this is very important because hitting that position begins to build your story of success. People start saying, man, if you can do it, I can do it. So congratulations. To do it, you need to have a PBR. That's all it takes is a PBR. Focus on your warm market. Own your success. ETs, I'm proud of you. But ET is the extraterrestrial zone. You got to get out of that zone. You don't want to stay there too long. 
You want to move to the next one. So what I want each of you to do is I want you to set a date that you will be an ED. It took two to go ET, it takes eight to go ED. And I want you to find somebody that's going to hold you accountable to hitting that goal the date that you set. Can we do this, ETs? Yes. Because when you get to ED, right, I call ED endorse and deposit. With ED, you start having some regular production, and you start getting weekly checks. You guys can sit down, the ETs. Let me see the EDs in the house. Stand up. Where are my EDs in the house? So EDs, congratulations. You made it. Now you want to know what you have to do? You have to become ET producing machines. You have to teach everybody in your team what you did. You have to identify, at ED is where you start identifying your 12 points of light. Who are the three people that you're going to run with hard that are leaders, that show up when they say they're going to show up, that get their customers, that come out and do their PBRs? You got to look for people not talking about it, but doing it. And once you do that, then you got to get in their dens and living rooms. So EDs, can you present the opportunity? Are you presenting right now? Yeah. So if I come to your house and I'm a new representative, you can show me the plan, right? Yeah. Because if you can't show the plan, you can't go SVP. So EDs, it's time for you guys to own your success. Because there are far too many people in this company that have been here far too long that are not presenting the opportunity. EDs, you got to start really perfecting your craft. You got to learn how to go do a PBR. You got to be on the mastermind teams in your area, learning how to run a BOM, because you're going to go start planting seeds in other cities. And when you go start planting seeds in other cities, you got to know how to do a BOM. So I'm challenging you now to get connected to your leaders, let them take you under your wing, under their wing, and teach you how to run these offices around the country. Can we do this, ED? Are you ready to start endorsing and depositing on your pay Lucian card a lot? <laughs> or no, I take that back. On your daily dimes card a lot. <laughs> All right, great. Next, where are my Indies at? So we got some EDs under you. You did a good job. You got some EDs. But here's the problem at ND. Sometimes at ND, you guys go into management mode. You start managing your EDs. That's not what you're supposed to do at ND. At ND, you got to keep helping more people become ETs. You got to stay in phase one. You got to be the top recruiter in your business. And you definitely got to know how to run the meeting. NDs, do you have an LCD projector? Do you have some speakers so if you needed to go set up in a hotel, you got that? Because a lot of times, I don't even see the top tier leadership having those things. When I was an ET, I had those things. You cannot depend on your upline because whose business is this? Your business. And if it is to be, it's up to who? So at ND, you got to really step up your leadership game. You need to have your projector. You need to have your laptop. You need to know how to present. You need to be able to go and run a meeting if you had to. You need to make sure you're doing team accountability calls. You need to be getting on the phone every single week talking to your EDs and your ETs, holding them accountable to those goals I just showed you. What gets measured gets done. What gets tended to, what is it? What gets tended to, to what did I say? What gets, me <laughs> what gets measured gets tended to, and what gets tended to gets done. Hold them accountable, NDs, every single week, an accountability call with your team. Now, at ND, get ready for the curveballs. ND is when the politics start creeping in because we're in the business of people and personalities. But NDs, do your best to keep the politics to a minimum. Because politics 
kill production. What you just need to focus on is being the very best representative in your business. You need to focus on being the example that your team is trying to follow and emulate. And if you do, your run to SVP won't be long. Let's give it up. Let's give our indies some love. We believe in you. We believe in you. The next national can be your national. 1,500 points. They just made, we're ready for you. So be the best example. Focus on duplicating your leadership. Make sure you're at the national conventions. Get your teams to these national conventions. If you had a team of 10 here, within 30 to 60 days, 10 would become 40 to 50. That's what the nationals will do for your team. Inspire your team. Now, SVPs. Where are my SVPs at? Stand up. Let me talk to you. Let's give them some love. They're getting it done. SVP is not the finish line. So I know we start to treat you like a corporate executive. We give you some nice incentives. Your lifestyle is starting to change. But what you got to wrap your head around is understanding that SVP is when you really start to go hard. You definitely don't need to be in management mode. You need to be going wider. You got to stay in phase one at SVP. The people that stay at SVP for two, three, four, five years, it's because you're managing far too many people. I'm just keeping it 100. So you guys, you got to understand that it's time for us to go to work. It's time running the meetings, you know, making sure that we're not just setting up the meeting, we're not just delivering the presentation, but we got a lot of people on those front rows too. We got a lot of people in the million dollar seats. Now your success is going to start to show on the outside, but this time let's be smart about it. It's not about the hype. Do you know some of the wealthiest people in the world, they drive pickup trucks. You don't even know they got money. We can't get caught up in that kind of stuff anymore. It's a new day at Five Links. We need to be the network marketing company that people come to because they can make real money and because they learn how to grow as individuals and because they learn how to build wealth for their families. And realize at SVP is where you start really growing and changing and challenge yourself to be in those courses for personal development, coaching. You got to take your leadership to the next level. Thank you. PSVPs, where are you at? Let me see my PSVPs and my double PSVPs. Stand up. Let's give our PSVPs our huge round of applause. So listen, they're watching us. They know that we're in. We can't talk the talk anymore. We got to be all in. We got to start building our power lines. You got to identify the people in your team that you know that if you pour into them, you give them everything you got, they're going to multiply. We got to be focused on creating millionaires. 14 years, 20 people earn millions of dollars in this company. You got to, all of us got to have that kind of record. Imagine what we could do when we get that kind of money in the right people's hands. It's not about what can we do. It becomes, well, what can't we do? Truly. We got to stay connected as one Five Links family. Yeah, we all have our teams and organizations, but at the end of the day, we're one Five Links family. One band, one sound. And when we stay tight, they stay tight. <laughs> We got to hit the road. 
We got to get back on the road like we used to do. We got to put the miles on our cars. We ran our cars into the ground in the beginning. We got to hit the markets. We got to do our tours. We got to facilitate the advanced trainings beyond what they get at a Super Saturday training. That's up to us. We can do this. We had to shed some people. We had to have a shakeup. A company cannot turn around without a shakeup happening. It couldn't. Shedding is a natural process. But here's what I can tell each and every one of you. The people that are here right now, we know how to build this thing. And I would be in war, and I would be, I'm honored to be in business with all of you guys, and I'm confident that these generals right here, we can definitely take this thing to a billion dollars. Let's give it up for our Platinums. I'm not talking from textbook. I'm talking from experience. This is what we did the first time. Stand up if you fall under Ian or Stella Chebe or Sonny and King Pinion. Stand up. Power line one, we got to build our power line. Stay standing. Power line two, stand up if you fall under Tashina or Kurt Anderson. Team Power, Kurt and Timmy Keys, Daryl Huckabee, Jovens Moncur, Thomas Felder, stand up if you fall under these leaders. Power line three. Stand up if you fall under Robinson Say. Nope, keep standing. And power line four. Stand up, Keith, Bishop Keith Hardy. Now I want you guys to look around the room. This is what we did from me down the first go round. I'm not talking about what I read in a book. I'm talking about what we did. If you take what I just shared with you today, we will quadruple this room by the next international convention. You can be seated. I'm going to get ready and wrap this up. But just know, life is going to throw us some curveballs. Life is going to throw us some curveballs. And be excited when they come, because it means you're on your road to destiny. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But when you have a setback, just tell yourself it's a setup for your stronger comeback. We're coming back stronger than ever. We're going into phase one. We understand the system. The system trains the masses, not the individual, the system. So break leaders, stay connected to their success. These are some of the lessons I learned. Teach your team to do what you do. Don't do it for them. Some of you are doing it for people. Teach them how to do it. Stay away from the negative, toxic people. Those toxic people will just destroy what you're trying to do. Be the best in your team and just know that you can do this. Master the system. I'm just going to give you the system real quick as I get ready to close out. The system trains the masses. It's not one person who's got some exceptional talent. It's not the superstar that gets it done. It's a person who understands the power of the system. So here's the system. You pique somebody's interest. You then expose them to the presentation, whether it's at a PBR, a BOM, a webinar. You ask them to make a decision, you get them enrolled, they get qualified. Then you sit down with them within the next 24 to 72 hours and you do their game plan. After you do their game plan, you make sure they have a what? A PBR. 
After they have a PBR, you drive all those people to the area BOM. After they get to the area BOM and they're working their business, you make sure you get them out to a Super Saturday training. After they start going to a couple of Super Saturday trainings, you make sure they're at the regional. And once you get them to the regional, you make sure they're at the national. This is the system. That's it. All we have to do is keep running that play over and over and over again. And when you get a person through all of these steps, more than likely they're going to stay very, very qualified. Now, when the momentum hits, and it's hitting, thank you, Marshall, thank you, Ashley, thank you, Coach K. We appreciate your leadership. When the momentum hits, that's not the time to take your foot off the gas. That's the time to go harder. Because momentum is slow to come, but it can be fast to go. So when you're in it, be in it. Be all in. Duplicate yourself. Five Links is the vehicle to the life of your dreams. I know like I know like I know. Of everything I do, nothing is more important to me than Five Links. There's nothing you could tell me that would help me see that, that, that you, you have to make residual income. Residual income is where it's at. So whatever you got to do, use my story. Use the TV show. There are a lot of people that have signed up in this business because they saw me on that crazy TV show. I know it's crazy, but 1.6 million people watch it a week. 1.6 million. And when that show is on, you need to be on social media because Twitter is going crazy, Instagram is going crazy, and that's your time to talk about five links. When 1.6 million eyeballs are saying, what did she do? How did she make her money? I'm telling you like I know, like I know, like I know. So here's the thing. In life, we're going to go through some tests. Outwardly, it's going to feel like we're being stripped of all of our blessings sometimes. It looks like it's not going to happen sometimes. You start to lose material things. Inwardly, you feel barren. But a lot of times, that's God's way of make, getting your attention. Because sometimes we forget where our blessings are flowing from. And it's in the stillness that he can have a real conversation with you. And he can tell you that faith can move mountains. Don't put your faith in a company. Don't put your faith in a man. Don't put your faith in a platinum senior vice president. Put your faith in me, God. God has always had his hand on this company. Always. Always. There aren't too many network marketing companies you go through, go to, and on Saturday morning, the Holy Spirit has filled the room. So I want you guys to repeat this declaration with me. Say it with me and mean it. Say it like you mean it, because your words have power. Let's go. I declare God's dream for my life is coming to pass. It will not be stopped by people, disappointments, or adversities. God has solutions to every problem I will already lined up. The right people, the right breaks are in my future. This is my declaration. I said that to myself every day for months. When Tashina was up here yesterday, I could feel her. 
We had to stand and be strong for so many people. Sometimes we didn't even know what we were, what to do. And every day I had to just put my faith in God. That God, he's always, how many people know that God can make a way out of no way? So the enemy is busy. He's very busy. The enemy would leave you alone. He, the enemy always fights the hardest. Always. When God has something big for you. He always does. He comes at me so hard, y'all. He comes at me in the company. He comes at me on TV. He comes, at, he comes so hard. But what I know in my heart is there's something much bigger coming. So here's what I can tell you. Disappointments are just God's way of saying, I got something better in store for you. <laughs> and we did it once and we can do it again so here's what I know because they, they, they come at you from all angles you're getting calls, you're getting messages they're actually in the city those vultures they flew here just because they knew we were all gathering. <laughs> but see, here's what I know. If it's the enemy, he rushes you. He tries to frighten you. He tries to push you. He tries to confuse you. He condemns you. He stresses you. He discourages you. He worries you. That's how the enemy operates. But when it's of God, no, no. He stills you. He reassures you. He leads you with integrity. He enlightens you. He forgives you. He calms you. He encourages you. He comforts you. I'm here to tell you guys, this room is nothing but God right now. The energy in this room. There is such a peace that has come over this company at this national. We're going to be all right. What lies behind us doesn't matter. And what lies ahead of us is a tiny matter compared to what lies within all of us. We got everything we need to take this company to a billion dollars. And God's plan is perfect. We don't always understand it. It's, it. It can be very, very confusing at times. We ask God, why us? Why, <clears throat> why after everything that we've done, why now? Because he's got a better plan for us. I'm here to tell you I'm proclaiming it. I'm speaking it over everyone's life in here. God has a plan for your life. The elevation that is about to happen in your life in this next season, you can't even begin to imagine what's about to happen. Because you stayed faithful. You didn't run when the enemy got busy. You believed. You knew that he could carry us through. And for that, he is happy. He is pleased. And I'm telling you guys, I thank all of our prayer warriors, Adrian Crutch, Kenneth Crutch, Bishop Young. Oh my God, where's Pastor McKnight, John and, and, and uh, Patrice? Thank you guys, because there have been a many a nights you were praying with a lot of us. Thank you. And it's a new day. 
It's a new day. So let's, if you could play this song, I want you guys to listen to this song because it is our anthem in five ranks. <laughs> 